Welcome to our September volume of Leaps and Bounds, Santa Rosa County School District's multimedia monthly newsletter. It is hard to believe we are already halfway through the first nine weeks. I'm happy to report that Santa Rosa County School District has increased enrollment from last school year. We now have 29,113 students receiving their education through our school district. Thank you, parents and guardians, for the privilege and honor you've given us to love, educate, and prepare your children for a successful future. As I visit students and teachers in their classrooms each day, I'm humbled and inspired by the excitement and positive attitudes I see. Despite the challenges of Tropical Storm Fred, Hurricane Ida, and of course COVID-19, I have witnessed excellent teaching and learning happening every day in our 35 schools. Parents and guardians, I have a very important request for you. Please visit our COVID-19 dashboard regularly and be informed about the daily status of our students and staff health. As you know, masks are highly recommended in Santa Rosa County School District and they will remain so. We respect the decision of every parent and guardian to make the important decision for their children. The information available on our COVID-19 dashboard will be valuable to you as you determine what is in the best interest of your child. And of course, please monitor your child daily for symptoms before they leave for school. If a child is symptomatic, please keep them home until they are symptom free. Meanwhile, our family of educators will strive to ensure the safest learning environment possible by focusing on the following strategies. Masks are readily available at school should a student, staff member, or visitor request one. Social distancing to the extent possible will be implemented. When six feet is feasible, we will distance at six feet. If three feet is possible, then we should distance at three feet. Monitor for symptoms daily before coming to school. Follow the Florida Department of Education protocols for COVID-19. Frequent hand washing, sanitation stations are available in every classroom. Utilize air purification systems in large gathering areas. Sanitize high touch areas, buses and classrooms. Okay. Parents and guardians, let me demonstrate to you how you get to our COVID-19 dashboard for the valuable information that is posted daily. You can reach the school district's homepage by going to www.santarosa.k12.fl.us. You will then find a menu on the left side of the web page. Click on COVID-19 info. There are several links for parents. One of them is the COVID-19 school report. This report has three tabs. The first tab shows you the number of positive, symptomatic, and exposed students for every school with the highest uh, exposed and symptomatic and COVID positive cases at the very top. Next is a detail page that calculates the percentage of students who are positive, symptomatic, and exposed. And last, there is trend report. This trend report shows for the district over time from August 10th through the current date, how many students total are positive in red, symptomatic in blue, and exposed in gold. A good piece of information is that we seem to hit our peak on August the 27th. Today, on September 2nd, we have a decrease of about 500 students that are out for a COVID-related absence. There is also staff data. You can click on the employee COVID-19 tracking report, and you can see again by school the number of employees that are COVID positive and those that are quarantining due to uh, COVID exposure. And again, there is a percentage of the employees affected reported for each school. One other good piece of information for you is the 2122 Florida protocols for controlling COVID-19 in schools. This decision tree comes from the Florida Department of Education. If you have a student who's exposed or is positive, 
The school and the health department will use this decision tree to determine the length of quarantining or the next steps your student needs to take to come back to school. Again, thank you so much for the opportunity that you've given us to educate and love and prepare your students for their successful future. Please check out the COVID dashboard daily and make sure to monitor your children for symptoms prior to sending them to school each day.